four games in a row now, you've beaten the All Blacks. That's a record in the professional era for the box. Obviously, a record in that rivalry. Um, it looks like you'll win the rugby championship for the first time in five years too. Two great test matches. Did you watch both? And what's your overall assessment of those two games? Obviously, Rassi will be a very happy man. Yes, I've watched most of it. Unfortunately, I've just come back from the Congress. So I couldn't watch the complete game this weekend. I got snapshots of it. And um, yes, Rassi's done tremendously well with the team. And the biggest um, thing around that is that, and the special thing about that in the, the positive side is the, the depth that he has managed to bold. And if you look at the, the props and the locks, and that was one of the things when I looked at the World Cup and and I said, yes, and I, just walking away, I didn't actually do a discussion with you know, any, anyone. I was thinking, you know, certain areas in that team that they need to just ball depth and then they'll be safe for the next World Cup because I definitely think he'll be chasing the next World Cup. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's obviously he's a goal-minded individual, very hard-working individual. And so, um, and that's a special side, um, building up that. And because we've seen we've had a couple of you know crises with injuries and things, and the, the individuals that stood up on lock and in the different positions. If you look at the fly-offs, that's now there. That's that's great. And um, obviously, when you in cloud nine and things go well, and uh, you know then you know there's the underdogs always. And um, you know if you if you look at before, I think it was 2019. South Africa were the underdogs, you know, and that you know they were, you know, and then they came through and really well, and now again really well. So when you're on the top there, it becomes more challenging, and and uh, and but I'm sure you know they've they've looked at all the different aspects. They've involved new coaches, which is um, exciting, and so on. And um, as you say, they've done tremendously well in this championship, and it's special as a country. And together with that, South Africa as a country has gone through. Since 1994, when I was I was about nine years old, 94, winning the f- first Rugby World Cup and in South Africa and apartheid and all these political things, which a lot of countries are struggling. Now, South Africa, in the first time in over 30 years, has had a, a government of national unity, which is also, you know, getting the sport uniting the country. You've got re-elections, which is stabilizing the country. So there's a lot of sport, positive factors around not just the sport, but you've got a minister of sport that's really fanatic about the rugby. Um, and that's a lot of, um, creates a lot of smiles in this country. Obviously, we've spoken about on this podcast several times, the fact that South Africa is a sort of four-year cycle animal. Um, we're, we're not even a year into that cycle at this point, but all, there is a slightly different feel to it for us. Um, we, you compare it to the All Blacks. If the All Blacks lose tests, there's an inquest. Um, it obviously South Africa had plenty of defeats in between the you know the 2019 World Cup and the 2023 World Cup. There didn't seem to be that level of panic, but there also didn't seem to be that level of investing in those games. You're obviously investing in the four year project. It does feel like there's a slightly different approach this time. Obviously, Rassi got very up for the Ireland series. Um, and again, the Springboks are seemingly carrying themselves with not just a force to be reckoned with in four years or in 2027 they're a force to be reckoned with now and throughout do you think that's fair do you think there is a slight different mentality yes i think uh, as i mentioned earlier so rassi is like really hard working um behind the scenes and the technology side and the coaches that is involved and he's continuously looking at new opportunities challenging the laws you know, new plays and things like that. What the opposition is doing, you know, who's their coaching staff, who should be in his coaching um, team. If you've looked at the ex-players, he's involved, he's involved Dwayne Vermeulen. Now, I mean, um, I, I was fortunate in playing um, with him as well and, and knowing him as an individual. So it's also the type of guy I would have involved in my team for his mentality and his presence. Um, he's almost like having another play on the field, having his presence around the team and things like that. So, um, I think definitely, you know, the next World Cup. It's as I said, it's going to be. It's just going to become more and more difficult for South Africa because you know the the, the opposition teams and their coaching staff and players are analysing these individuals and these individuals that potentially take part in the next World Cup. So, so I think we're going to see a, a phenomenal next World Cup, and I think even like this year. Or, or the previous um, World Cup in France that you, you saw, you know, between England and Ireland and New Zealand, South Africa, a lot of the teams were, you know, it was a, it was a you know one point or two or three point games. It was quite close on certain certain games. So, and I think we'll see that in the next World Cup. You just get, you know, teams will 
you even see it with the youth are, are bigger stronger quicker you know where is it going to stop um and um so i think obviously it will come down to a lot of you know psychological side um i'm quite a mentality type of guy there's um their psychological approach and how they'll help these players with decision making and things like that um, because everyone's going to be quick fast you know well prepared um, and then the other aspect is the technical aspect to that so and i think they are getting that right that emotional psychological side with the players which plays a big a big impact within that match when things are when you're down three or four points you need to win the game and things and that's been the difference for me in a sort of similarish light, do you think that obviously looking back at the World Cup, three one point wins, quarter final, semi final, final. Um, my perception is you make your own luck, but others' perception was that obviously there is a little bit of luck involved in that. Do you think those two performances against the All Blacks and obviously Ireland, you comfortably beat them or comfortably enough beat them in the first test? Do you think that's vindication and? Oh, there was almost the um when the Springboks won in 2023, are they the best team in the world? There was a slight question mark publicly. I mean, I I certainly think they are, they're world champions. But do you think there's no question mark around that anymore? It's obviously the performances against the All Blacks. Um is it's that's special to see that. You know, the All Blacks went through a a, a time where they had, they could have picked three teams. You know, South Africa is at a stage now they can pick two teams, you know, and they're building on that. They might be at a stage where they can pick three teams soon. And um, so I think it's a, it's the confidence side to that is, uh, is, 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 the, is the great side. Because if you had winning and losing and the experiences and the feelings around that, if the, the more players you can expose to that, if you look at that, uh, at Sasha, he's, you know, some, one of his early test matches and winning as a start and stuff, winning, against the All Blacks, you know, it's it's special. And that confidence um, and that pressure and stuff, because all the players have pressure, all the coaches have pressure. And um, if you're well prepared and you you gain all these experiences, you win some of these big test matches, you're associated with it, you can't take that away from a player. And the more players you have like that in your squad and stuff, um, the, the, the I would say to, the easier to some extent it becomes for the team and the coaching staff and, and their environment.